Good morning, it's the 27th of May 2017. Time flies, doesn't it? Right, okay. Now, first of all, so it's the 27th of May and the time is 11 o'clock. Okay, so anyway, today I first want to say, I'm speaking about chess here, uh, next calendar week on the Saturday and every first Saturday of the season Otago Chess Club okay Otago Chess Club um, run a rapid tournament which is 30 minutes each game each player and no increments of seconds on top so if you want to um, take heed of that or even if you come to New Zealand and you um, you come and have a look at the um, you come and have a look to play chess, particularly that of Indonesian. If you're on the first Saturday of the season, which is obviously one of the four seasons, not the four seasons, the music group, which I really love. But I'm not going to start talking about other things. I'm talking about chess there. So um, and that runs next week on the um, the tenth of the no um, the 3rd of June is next Saturday I believe I might be incorrect so the 3rd of June next Saturday and they start at um, 12 o'clock or 12.30 I think the players meeting is at 12 and it's only like five ten dollars to enter so and it's six rounds I believe and and it's really really quite fun I've played in it or five rounds I've played in it and by tea time you're finished okay so that's the first thing I want to say the second thing I want to say is um, Heather Wegener has purportedly um, uh, said to me that she believes her game of chess has got better since she's been watching my videos so cool that's what my son my youngest son would do if he was here he'd go cool like that that's how beautiful he is he's lovely but anyway so um, he yeah so Heather is reporting to me that she's having a noticeable um, ratio difference in her game of chess on the internet she's playing on some internet site uh, every time I try to remember I can't um, so she's now going she's now got about 33% wins 35% 32% wins and she's beating people 100 150 200 points above her and she's also losing to them so um, it works to look at um, it look it works to look at chess games um, even if they're from players like myself that it works okay so that's one thing I want to say the other thing I want to say is welcome to the new 15th subscriber. Wherever you are, welcome. I appreciate you joining the ranks. I hope you enjoy your your um, stay with us or with me. So, um, so it's good to learn, even if I teach things that might be a bit elementary or a bit harder than elementary okay so that's um, I've got some other things written down here and I'm going to try and keep the video down to about 20 minutes so I've done that and um, whether you're a cop whether you're a coffee house player whether you like to just play the occasional game of chess on a Sunday afternoon with a friend or a daughter or son or brother or or father or mother doesn't matter your game will improve because guess what my game's improved my game has I believe noticeably improved since I've been doing this um, even if you just play once in a blue moon which um, which is a possibility too you might just play that or you might like just to see um, what I'm doing for chess in New Zealand or whatever so um, 
Canterbury Chess Club of course is really really uh, a top chess club as far as I'm concerned so anyway I'm going to um, now bring to you free again one of my games okay now you might say oh no it's one of his games oh let's turn it off okay so here comes one of my games I haven't even set the chess board up yet Now is there anything I want to do other than switch the engine off and turn the screen around so that faces you guys better than if I have it. Okay, here we got yesterday's position and uh, I noticed one thing, I'll just give it a narratum here. Okay, here I moved my rook in the game of chess last year. I mean, way back there in 1979 against a top, top um, New Zealand master. And then he was um, performing very, very well. Uh, he, I think he was about first in the school pupil champs in that for, New, um, for Otago at least and did very well in the nationals. But anyway, here I played rook g1. I needn't, because the same here, I can just play a3. So I noticed that um, I missed that. And if king takes the rook, well, then it's history, isn't it? That not that doesn't matter what um, white does, even taking this pawn, doesn't prevent with check doesn't prevent my pawn from queening next move and I would make it a queen not a bishop or a knight because that was silly if I make it a bishop or a knight I, I've lost my one position even though it might still be one right now okay now so we're we going to reset the position up and I can't say who the player is of course because um, I've said I won't do that. But here is the game, and this is a round one game from the Otago Chess Championships, where I was white. So David Wigan is white, and I'm not going to say who the black player was, <coughs> from Dunedin. This occurred on the 12th of May, so it had its anniversary uh, a few days ago, 12th of May 1979. So that's, um, I believe, uh, 38 years ago, is it? Here we go. Here comes David Wiegenau playing, and this is 14 2, by the way. And I actually, um, I said I've lost my last scorebook. So that's probably where some of my oldest games have gone. So this is one of the first recorded games of um, chess that I've got. And this is in the A grade. Not the B grade, not the C grade, although I was going up and down the A grade and B grade there back then. We had about A, B, C, D, E, F, G grade, I think we had a G grade back then, so this was a pool of A graders in the top six playing against each other, or the available top six, I'm not saying that are the top six, because some Dunedin Knights weren't um, playing in this tournament you know, they don't always play every round robin, and this is a round robin, so everyone plays everyone, and the time limit is 40 and 2 and 21, right that's the amount of my talking other than I'm going to talk about chess this person that was black was the Otago chess coach okay so no mug he taught me a lot of things and I've acknowledged him to my friend somewhere in New Zealand for him to let him know I'm putting this game on today so I say hello if you're watching hello and I hope you're well
So the Otago chess coach. So he knows what he's doing. See, so he's developing his pieces. He's moving his pieces out. He plays this move though. And I don't think very much of this move. I go G3, you see. Hold on, I don't know. It's alright. He goes Bishop B5. I mean, he goes B5. And look what David Wigner does. Bishop B5. Now that's pretty simple, really. Because if takes here, then Knight D, B5. And it's very, very good for white. This is really, really horrible. And that reminds me, I've just got to say, um, a knight on b5 and a knight on d5, I had that in the reserve championships one time, a long, 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 long time ago, like, you know, about 1987 or 88, about 10 years later from this game. And I had this position where I had knight on d5 and knight b on b5, and my opponent was having to look at me just going to go knight take c7 check and win the rook okay one of the knights would take the pawn on c7 and take the rook afterwards because the queen can't and the black could not defend it and i noticed a whole lot of people i might have said it before i noticed a whole lot of people watching my game okay and i got up and i said to them all i said i oh, don't look at it please you'll make my opponent da 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 think that he's got a chance and he'll start to look for the opportunity and they all cracked up anyway so bishop b5 I've just played bishop b5 he goes knight d5 4 okay new main line of course computer you know that bishop d4 look at that now if he takes this I can merely take this, and if black gets cheeky, I can go knight here. And then, instead of taking the bishop back, but otherwise, if the bishop takes here, I just take knight b5, and after that I've got knight d6, and the rest is pretty nice. I mean, where's black going to go? Black can go here, chomp. Now this is a check, so black has to do something about it. Actually, what's going to be wrong with that? Oh, that is check. That's my way out, otherwise I've lost this piece. If I tried to do anything with it, I've lost the piece, even though I can play knight here and open up the king. But my king would have trouble with this bishop and queen battery battery on this diagonal if this pawn's gone then they're threatening queen my opponent's threatening queen h1 and and that sort of thing now one thing that this player taught me even though i keep breaking the rule is the importance of having a plan because in this coaching lesson i i saw one particular coaching lesson he ex he spoke about the middle game about the importance of a plan. Now it's correct. And so I can't forget him um, showing that. I just can't forget it. So I played quite well actually. I'm quite impressed. If I do say so myself. So black played bishop e5. Oh where are we going here? G3, b5. Bishop b5, oh, okay. Bishop b5, bishop e5. Main line, of course, computer. You should know that by now. You should know that, computer. It's the main line. I play bishop e5. Nice and clean chess. You know, like, I don't want to um, rattle the cage too much, you see. I'm just playing clearly and, and with determination and, and decisiveness. Because I've got a decisive or winning position. I've got a better position here. I've got seven pawns versus six. And I've even got, um, you know, like I've got these pawns are going to happen soon, one day or another. They're going to start motoring. 
castles. See? He's right into keeping to the rules. I go F4. Like I said, I'm true to my word. I'm going to, like I'm doing here, I'm going to keep on coaching chess. Even if people say I shouldn't. A3. Look at that. Queen B2, Knight A4. Now what's um, black going to do with the queen? Where does the queen go? Well played David Wigano. When I was 17 years old. I was just turned 17. Because you all know my birthday is in May. So now you know what year I'm born. So knight a4. Now what does he do? And he can take this. Of course. Thread my queen. But then I just take here. And then. Then. He can play here. I'm just finding some ideas for him here. But white's just got a clear one here. Because uh, obviously here. Black attacks my knight. I don't want to play here because then I lose my bishop to for a couple of pieces. I just play bishop takes, which threatens bishop takes rook. Nice and clean chest, no excitement. I was studying a lot of Anatoly Karpov back then, these his games. So that's probably part and parcel what I was playing chess like. And also the bedside players, the bedside players chess book, um, chess book, or oh, whatever it's called, chess players book. Okay, new mainline, of course, computer, you should know that. Knight a4, knight g4, knight b2, knight f2. Rook f2, nice and clean, you see. Just clean, no excitement, David, <laughs> you know. And it's how I've beaten the great chess players in New Zealand, even the New Zealand champion. I've beaten the New Zealand champion like by just playing like this. Just win a pawn and then um, play sensibly. Oops. ED5, Bishop D5. New mainline, you should know that computer. You should be able to tell. Is your computer knight e5? Look, just nice and simple, no, no sort of drama. And wallop goes another pawn. Rook c3, and now return. Just defend the pawn and return. And so my opponent plays rook a8. I play a4. F6, knight d7, no drama, but just clean chess. Resigns, end of my session. I hope you enjoyed that. I've kicked to my 20 minutes. Bye-bye.